This is jujitsu. The gentleman's art, right? Okay, so how to fight. So, um, we're at my favorite place to spend any extra time that I have at Grishu Maita Austin with my coach, Paolo Rendal. Um, Paolo has been my coach for eight years. Yeah, Almost forever. Eight years now, yes. put, put this bad boy on me with, with Hoyle and Gracie. And, um, you know, there's lots of different facets to fighting. You, know, you got striking, you have takedowns, you have ground fighting, um, but you can't really get good at training it all at the same time. You have to separate things and train them. Um, I'm passionate about jujitsu, so Paolo, this, the, he's the professor for this school, and he is my coach. And tell us about yourself. Well, I'm um, I'm six degree black belt from Hoyler. I'm here in Austin like for nine years now, running this academy with a lot of special people. You know, like Tim, like all these guys are here every day. Like, you know, battle, like fighting, pretty much hard work every day, right? And um, it's my home. It's our home. No, there's no nice. way to make a weapon besides hammer forging stuff. So you grind. Ah, just like you take the soul out of people. <laughs> um, technique I'm gonna show is gonna be a snap down to a double leg. What are you gonna show today? We're going through a knee transition to the mount position. It's hmm. pretty, pretty nice. So I mean, pretty that's... much bleeding, sweating, crying, you know. Uh -huh. we, we see all of this here. Yep. <laughs> but the uh, it's not just the technique and the strength, it's also the character, the character. that comes with the belt. Exactly. So that takes time, but all right, here we go. We're gonna go get, learn how to fight, and uh, today it's gonna be grappling, and grappling's important, because you get to dictate where the fight happens. Off we go. Yeah, there are normally more blue belts here, but but Chantry ate them. Just like gonna follow me really awkwardly close. Hey, hold your hands out like this, and then show them to the guy next to you. Does anybody have weird coke nails? <laughs> All right, four, four. All right, man. He's nine, ten. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! All right, guys, um, let's finish here, Vom Team. Let's go. Yep. Let's go. Team has something nice to show, so let's enjoy. So, um, or we'll call this the bully. Um, just a snap down to a double, double leg. Mike, can I use you? So, when we're doing grip fighting, we're usually pretty gentle with each other. You know, we're like trying to get grips, you know, and, but wrestling energy is a little bit more poppy. Judo has really, really poppy energy. So it's not like I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna step, I'm gonna try to throw. It's explosive energy. A snap down, it's awesome if it works. I wanna take his forehead and I wanna put it right where my rear foot is, right here. So I'm gonna take my hand, I'm gonna find the crown of his head right here, I'm gonna step back and I'm gonna try to take his forehead here and I'm gonna put his foot or his head where my forehead is, right there. See that energy, it's not, I'm not just using lat. I'm dropping my base straight down to the ground as I activate my bicep and my lat to pull down. Now, if he's a really good wrestler and he has a really strong base and he does that firm, drives his hips forward, rolls his shoulders underneath his neck so he doesn't get snapped down, that gives me what we're gonna do next, which is our double leg. But first, you have to do a snap down right. So we wanna control center line. We're gonna come up, look for this, either a tricep or wrist. We're gonna pull down, and our, this little notch at the top of his head is where we want our hand, and where this foot is, is where I wanna pull his head to. Now, if he comes down like this, we're gonna throw by and come around behind him. Here, down to my foot. I can look for a leg, my hand comes around, grabs a tricep, and goes to a hip. 
I'm way better at on the right side. That's the first thing. We're just gonna work a snap down. We're gonna go to a double leg, but I think the best setup for a double leg is a good snap down. I have a question. Yes, sir. Um, when you pull, when you have your grip here, right? So you go over here. Are you square or are you in base here? Because you, the idea is you're pulling across or across this to your foot there. I want him to go straight to where my lead strong side foot is. So sometimes here, I'm gonna kind of pull him with my hand a little bit to make this foot. Um, can I do a real snap down? Go for it. Okay, sorry. It's, kind of, it's not a cool thing, it's, it's kind of like this pop. So I'm like push, I'm gonna push, and there's that snap down. So I had to move my foot because his head was gonna go to where my foot was. That's, that's the energy and it's straight down. As soon as I feel him going down, my arms are going to that um, inside tricep, pulling and then coming to a back take. And then jujitsu wise, if we wanna score and take the back, or for me, I'm gonna run to try to get to side control. Thank you, coach. He throws me those softballs. You missed an important detail. We recover that. Angle, and here, I'm getting out from in front of him and going around behind him. Anything to add on that? Looks good to me. All right, so we're gonna get a partner. Light, compliant pummeling. One person's gonna do the snap down. Do it three times on your good side, one time on your bad side, and then switch, uh, then switch um, the person doing it. One, two, three. The energy of the snap down is like, pop. Yeah. That's crying that I, that I went too hard. <laughs> oh, so we're going full. Nice. Head, right. Pull him down. Yeah. That's the energy. Okay. Right? It's not like. Right? That's a way different thing than right. pop. Yes, sir. It feels totally different, yeah. right? Yeah. Like one, like, oh, I just get hit in the back of the head. Yeah. And then you're already down. Yeah. Oh, and literally bouncing their heads off the back. Okay. Thank you. Snap down. The energy's a snap. Snap, go and snap. That's the energy. If it's like, <sighs> that is not, does that look snappy? No, I don't know what that is. That's not a snap down. So could you please do a snap down? One, two, three. I got one more minute on this. Do a snap down. Nice. That was snappy, that was snappy. So that happens. Nice. The snap down, then I'm just gonna pull him, we're gonna bully him to the ground. I'm gonna pull him all the way down, I'm gonna run around him, I'm gonna take his back, and I'm gonna run, I'm just gonna run over him. If they don't respect your double leg, so if I'm, I'm here, they're doing that, then I'm gonna run a double leg. All right, so if I come up and he's st standing upright, I'll just run my double leg. Now, imagine us putting these two things together where I get my snap down, my snap down, and he's posturing hard to stop it. I'm pulling, we're looking at, this is jujitsu. The gentleman's art, right? Using his strength against him. So he's pulling up, I'm gonna let his head come up into my double leg. <laughs> so instead of doing a traditional turn in the corner, on this spike double leg, we'll just call it a double leg tackle. I'm gonna pull down for my collar tie. When I feel him pull up, I'm gonna change levels, take my hand to the inside of his calf, and jam my shoulder into his solar plex. They call it a spike double, they call it a running double. Um, when we teach it to Texans, we call it a tackle to high school wrestling students. Because they're in, uh, in Texas, it was a tackle. All right, so we're gonna do three on your good side, one on your bad, switch the person doing it. One, two, three. You have three minutes, go. Yeah, that, that's just happening. <laughs> I, I put my head like, right. Okay. Chris Price teaches that. If your head is on the outside, your chin better be tucked. But your head doesn't need to go all the way outside. Don't get guillotined for a double leg. Not worth it. Let's talk about the snap that Tim did. He 
pulls, you snap down. Sometimes you fall here, right? And you can go for the back, you can rotate. But sometimes the, when you go, the guy kind of make a frame here and sort of kind of, yeah. So look what I'm going to do here, guys. My hand, you probably know that because that's very common in competition. Okay, it's just a, a way that I set it up, you know. It's, so when I, when I try to go and hit frame here, I have the chance to go with my hand inside and grab my other hand. So I go deep and grab my hand, the palm here, palm to palm. What I'm going to do here is make him collapse here, boom, on the ground. Okay. So if you can't reach because you have sh short arm, okay, dive your shoulder deep, pull his head, and now you go for the bravo choke. From here you choke, extend the leg, and choke him. Second. <laughs> Let's go to three. <laughs> yeah. So the, the earlier I do this, I'm like, my friction of my chest is on there. Now when I get on here, um, I don't have to like sprawl. I, I stay right here. We'll find your biceps. I like the friction. Oh, yeah? Because then it's hard to get out. Like yeah. What I want to do is make sure I tuck everything where I want it. Now I'm going to use friction of my body and my chest and my head to make sure it stays there, right? So now I know I have his arm and shoulder set up anatomically where I want it. Okay. Right? Now I know I need to get this hand deeper. So how do I do that? I'm going to do a second snap down to get this hand deep. Right, bring it in. All the way, all the way. Nobody gets hurt ever doing any of these techniques. Because we are a family, we're a tribe, we have to be able to collectively get better. So every time that I teach wrestling, I'm always worried that like, all right, I'm gonna go run a double leg, a spike double. Tim said run a spike double. No, I want you to learn the technique, but be able to execute it safely. Um, we're gonna roll. Let's, let's go roll, let's go. go get your mouth guard, guys. Have one minute to, to have a water, and let's pair up. So. When you come to a, a, a Jiu-Jitsu Academy or any martial arts academy, you wanna you wanna know how to fight, right? The first thing I wanna know how to fight, or I wanna be a champion. I wanna be a world champion, okay? But the first lesson that you learn in the academy is humble. Is to be humble. Is because when you tap, it means that you are humble. And you know, accept the defeat, you are humble. So that's that's the first thing that uh, I believe in the martial arts should teach in the academy, okay? It's not how to be, how to fight, because this is gonna be a, a, a consequence of your training, if you, uh, your commitment, you commit with your partner, because you, you can't improve by yourself. You have people. These people here improve us, and you improve as well, okay? So I do believe the first lesson that you have to understand is not, how, not know how to fight. Of course, fight's a good thing for when you keep like progressing on the training. But the humble, okay, the patient, because jiu-jitsu is baby steps. You know, we see guys, like uh, big guys sometimes come to the academy, right? Oh, I'm big, I'm strong, but they, they got frustrated a little bit because they can't do anything with like small guys. You know, I'm a small guy, no, not this guy. <laughs> okay, but usually it's, it's a baby step. So patience is one of the second lessons, okay? You gotta be patient, resilience, be patient with your partners, okay? Always, always, you know, accept the, the, the advice, okay, of a higher belt, okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, like, there, there's not a shortcut, there's not an easy way, there's not like a beep, 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 beep. You, Neo, go in and you download all the moves. The only way to get good at this is through, is through a little bit of that, and a little bit of blood, and uh, pain, and, um, yeah, you gotta leave the ego at the door and just, just come in. Comments, tell me what you want. Stay safe, stay free.